Bismillah, a relevance of traditional classical Sufi practices of dhikr, night vigil, and all of the other accoutrements of a culture that evolved and developed over hundreds of years with dozens of different tariqas and people around the world under the umbrella of Sufism. You know, cultures change and evolve. What remains is the essential essence and the drive in them. Sufism, like any other aspect of spirituality or religious quest, is to enable human consciousness to drift upward, connecting with its origin and returning back to the present day-to-day -day state with a clearer indication as to its purpose and direction. The story is very simple. Every human being is made of two entities. Everything in our life and existence is within duality. An aspect of me is an animal that's been evolving and still is. Another aspect is a divine light which has got in it a numerous radiations which is timeless. So I am a mixture of something eternal and something that is short-lived, something that is boundless and something that is within the boundaries of space and time. Now, the practices of Sufis, sitting together, having dhikr, entering into a zone of, if you like, higher state of consciousness and all of that, is helpful to lift the usual mental activity into another zone, another state, another facet, which is closer to pure consciousness. So the overall objective is good, but you won't find the same cultural definitions, checks and balances. Otherwise, not very easy to come across a Sufi group with a teacher or a leader who passes all the tests of being an enlightened person or the followers to be genuine and sincere and have the right courtesy. In the past, most homes and communities lived those courtesies and awareness, 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 until it was very refined. And that's why it was said, uh, attributed to the Prophet, the entire religion or deen is based on courtesy, on adha. Is it the right time, the right place? Are you having the right approach to connect or not? So the overall season for thriving Sufi groups and different tariqas has served its purpose. It is now an individual. Until two, three generations ago, people would ask, who do you belong to? Who are your companions? Which mosque do you, are you connected with? Nowadays, it's not any more of help other than a basic peripheral interest. What matters is your own awareness. What matters is your conduct. What matters is presence of mind. What matters is you being in the moment without all the noises that goes on in the mind. So many of the old Sufi practices, if you can do them with one or two or whoever else, it benefit you, good luck. Don't expect it to be organized and different hierarchies amongst the followers. That zone is more or less served its purpose to that now individuals, if they do that courteous approach and awareness and presence, they also have a better notion as who else is
grossing up to that state. 